In our top story at this half hour, earnings season still in full swing, moving markets with D CVS, Disney, Kohl's, Macy's, and Snap among the uh, names set to report this week. As we look at futures right now, pointing to possibly another record setting day on Wall Street. The Dow tacked on over 260 points total last week, the biggest percentage gain since May. Joining us this morning is Hodges, Fun Hodges Funds Portfolio Manager Craig Hodges. Craig, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Great to be here. All right. So set up this week for us early on this Monday morning. What do we know, need to know about earnings season, what we've seen so far, and what we may have to look forward to this week? It's been an interesting. The, the uh, earnings started two weeks ago, and the first week were literally the best earnings I've seen uh, in probably my 30 years that I've been doing this. Uh, last year, I mean, last week's earnings were a little not quite as good, but still good. I have noticed a lot of stocks, even with the good earnings, have sold off after earnings. So I think there's parts of the market that have advanced so much that uh, people are using it as an opportunity to sell the news. And so um, I continue to see good earnings. Uh, there's a, you know, we're probably about halfway through. So there's a lot left, but uh, so far so good. I think the, the, the backdrop um, uh, for the economy and for the market it is pretty constructive here. Let's talk sectors. What, what specifically are you watching? You know, we're looking at everything at, at, at the Hodges funds, but you know, one thing that we're seeing and we're noticing that we like is we're seeing rotation into the momentum stocks. The we've had a very narrow uh, advance in the market. Like what specifically? And we're seeing, you know, the you know the the Fang stocks, the the ones of you know in the in the Dow. It's been kind of Apple and Boeing. Um, and it looks like those have stopped going up. You're not seeing drastic sell-offs there, but you are seeing momentum stop, and then you're seeing some of the laggards, the things that are trading 10 and 15 times earnings, start to uh, start to improve. And I think that's a healthy, healthy, healthy part, uh, a healthy sign that the market market is showing up. So, Craig, you sound, you sound for. pretty optimistic as we look at the Dow and S&P right now, setting up for another gain on this open as we kick off this week. Um, overall, are, are you pretty optimistic that this rally, this record? setting rally for U.S. equities can continue? It will. It can continue. I, you know, we have been looking for a sell-off, and we'll get one. You know, the, the 5 to 7 percent sell-offs that we seem to get almost every year hasn't occurred in over a year. And so we're due a sell-off. And that's actually a healthy thing. So, um, you know, one thing that I think tells you how strong the market is, is that every, every sell-off of the 2 to 3 percent variety is bought up pretty mm. quickly. And that's a healthy sign. So um, I, I would be cautious. I would be looking for an opportunity, uh, you know, opportunity to buy stocks. If the market does cooperate and go down 5 to 7 percent, use that to, to get into buy. All right. And a lot of interest in SNAP reporting earnings, uh, second quarter earnings after the closing bell on Thursday. Any forecasts there? Uh, don't follow it particularly. I know it's been a pretty disappointing stock. Um, uh, you know, when, when they break their IPO price, that's a pretty negative sign. I know there's, you know, and they're also the, 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 the lockup's been, uh, I guess, expired, and now the insiders are selling. So it's got a little work ahead of it, I'm afraid. All right, so turning to, to the political impact on this market, tax reform, a huge discussion this week and has been. Um, the president still wants 15%. Uh, we are hearing from even Republicans that that may not happen. Uh, it might look more like 20 percent. And how much leverage really is there if this continues to drag on into next year, Craig? You know, the market has been amazingly resilient despite the fact that the government has not had uh, much success getting some of these programs through. I think the tax reform is really what the market's looking for. And I, I think the market's still saying it, it can happen, it should happen at some point. I think if you get into October, November, and there's not been any progress made, I think then the market does have some, some headwinds in front of it. But uh, I, think, I, I think most people think that it's, you know, most of the analysts that I see is it can get done, it should get done. It, the, the, I guess the right. timing is more really anything. Well, else. Orrin Hatch had something to say about this and, and, and whether or not 15 percent is, is actually a possibility. Let's listen. I actually think it is, but it's going to take Democrats and Republicans getting together, putting aside their stupid differences and saying, look, this one time, let's do this for our country, let's do this for our American citizens, let's do this for our economy, let's do this for the world, really, because the United States is the key country in the world. If we're not strong, the rest of the world's going to be in chaos even worse than it is right now. 
All right. I want to bring in Congressman uh, Ch Jason Chaffetz is sitting with me. I mean, is, is tax reform a reality by the end of the year? Uh, it, it has to be in terms of Republicans who control all the levers of government. But when Orrin Hatch, who's been there for 41 years, say they may not be able to do it, I think people should say, well, I, you know, and it's very frustrating in that Mitch McConnell in July on a Tuesday announced that the Senate was going to stay in session because they have all this important business through this week, but they're not in session this week. Yeah. Uh, they announced it on a Tuesday, they broke on a Thursday. They're supposed to be here all this week, and now they cut it off early. And so how do you make progress when you're not even there to right. talk about these types? And of also you've got the deficit, right? That issue is coming up September 29th, a budget deal September 30th to fund the government through the end of the fiscal year. And we all know there's conversation about border, um, you know, the border wall and all kinds of things going into that budget deal, as I'm sure uh, the congressman knows here what that is all about. So that, that's just bound to take up more, you know, take more oxygen out of the room. So, Craig, but even though there, there, there would be concern based on what congressman just said about tax reform even getting done, it doesn't seem like the markets even just, they don't even take a break amid that concern. It just seems like they're just plowing forward with the expectation this will get done. Yeah, you know, that's one thing that uh, it seems that's the one thing that everyone seems to somewhat agree on. And we do pay the highest corporate taxes in the world, and it's a disadvantage. Uh, our economy is disadvantaged to the to the rest of the world, so it makes too much sense. I'm not sure why, uh, other than political reasons, that it that it shouldn't. Okay, happen. so let so. me let me just ask you this because I I, I guess I lay in bed at night wondering this. Um, it's kind of a joke, um, <laughs> but I do think about this a lot. When you look up this record run up that we have seen in the U.S. equities markets, Craig, and you think this is all happening on the expectation that tax reform will get done, say it gets done. Then what happens to the markets? I mean, what do they move higher on then? I mean, do, or do they sell on the news? I don't think this, would, this is so dramatic that I think it would be a real game changer for our economy and for the stock market, especially small cap companies, smaller companies. They're the ones that don't really have all the, you know, the, the, the uh, advantages to take advantage of lower taxes. And so I think that would be, you know, small caps have underperformed. I think that's one reason they have underperformed is because we haven't gotten the tax legislation through. But if that happens, I think you'd see small caps do well. I think the whole market would do well if that, if that does happen. All right, Craig Hodges, thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, coming up.